بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <تصفيق> الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد taking care of the heart in islam is imperative for the believer that the believer should always strive his or her best to purify the heart. قَدْ أَفْلَهَا مَنْ تَزَكَّى Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that verily the one who has purified themselves is successful. All throughout the Qur'an, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes clear the importance of purifying our, purifying our souls. And that some of the ways in which we can purify ourselves and remove ourselves from some of the sins that we commit, and may Allah forgive us all of the many sins that we commit, is by reading the Qur'an, doing righteous deeds. Those things help to expiate our sins, and they also are exercise for the heart. And some of the other soul food that the human being requires and the Muslim specifically is ilm, is knowledge and as we mentioned before ilm and nafia uh, beneficial knowledge and that's why the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to supplicate Allahumma as'aluka ilm and nafia ruskan tayyibah wa amna mutaqabbilan O Allah I ask of you beneficial knowledge and an expanse expansive uh, risk you know provisions wealth those things that we require in this life and deeds that are accepted by you and that's a beautiful dua and a simple dua we should all learn and we should all make as much as possible throughout the day but especially in those times when it was mentioned like after Salat al-Fajr the Prophet ﷺ said to supplicate with that uh, that short supplication after you've made your dhikr and that is a part of your dhikr Allah جل, mentioning and remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by supplicating to him so supplicate with that dua to begin your day to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for beneficial knowledge and to ask him subhanahu wa ta'ala for rizq, you know, for provisions, ample provisions, provisions that you can use for righteousness and for deeds that he is pleased with. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam said after a, a long hadith full of fawaid and benefits for us, he mentions sallallahu alayhi wa sallam inna fi jizid ala wa inna fi jizid mudghatan idha salaha salaha jizid kullu wa idha fasadat fasada jizid kullu ala wa hiya qalb the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said verily in the body is a morsel of flesh and that if it is healthy, the whole body is healthy. And if it is sick, then the whole body becomes sick. Verily, it's the heart. And that's why purifying our hearts, purifying our hearts, working on our hearts, exercising our heart with righteous deeds, with good actions, with amal salihah, that this is part of the provision for the believer. Taqwa. Rizq al-ibad. Or rizq al-mu'mineen. That the taqwa, having taqwa Allah Azza wa Jal, fearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is the provision for the believer. And taqwa, ayu al-ahabba, as we mentioned, is being obedient to the commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and avoiding his prohibitions. So all of those are ways in which we can 
actualize or begin to purify our hearts. And with the purification of the heart comes the purification of the whole body. The purification of the eyes and the purification of the mind. Because a pure heart does not look at the outside world with sickness. A pure, pure heart will help to see the good and will help you avoid evil. And I'll give you a short example before we end. And that is, for example, the heart that is sick, that is full of deviation regarding, for example, a sick heart that is deviated sexually, that they will follow their desires and they will only see their desires so much so that when, for example, they see the opposite sex, all they can see them as, as not as a human being, not as a person that you interact with, your teacher, your, um, your, uh, your boss on your job or your, uh, someone you interact with in the society, but rather they only see them as they say as a piece of meat, as a sexual outlet. And that is an illustration of a sick heart. The healthy heart, on the other hand, will incline the person to lower their gaze and incline the person to see if they have to interact with the opposite sex to see them in a healthy way as another individual human being that has value and to see them for their value not to see them only for their physical for their body and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with healthy hearts and bless us to be able to be on the path of purifying our hearts. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.